Hey guys, Jordy here from Premier Basics, and today I'm gonna show you how to teleport jump out of a monitor. And don't worry, I'm not coming through your monitor. Or will I? Well, let's find out in this video together. Let's go. First, we need three shots. Here you can see a video of a guy jumping in the first location. Oh yeah, this is Timon. He recently joined the team and he's actually the creative brain behind Springer Basics. So let's welcome him in the comments down below. Now make sure to also shoot an empty plate because we need that in the future. And then we shoot another video of Timon doing the exact same jump in another location. And for the last one, we shot a video of an empty monitor because that's where our talent is going to jump out from. All right, now that we have all of our clips, drop them into Premiere. Select the first video and drag it above the empty monitor shot. We're gonna decrease the opacity up until the monitor is perfectly visible. Click on motion and scale that clip down until T1 fits inside the monitor. Perfect. Now find the crop effect in the effects library and drop it onto your video. Then crop it until the clip fits in the monitor. Awesome. Now next set the opacity back to 100% and there we go. Okay, so now we have to decide on what moment that we're going to match the two clips. To do that, we're gonna find the frame where his knees are bent and where he's at the highest point of his jump. You know, somewhere around here. Make a cut and delete the rest. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with our second shot. Again, find the frame where he's holding his knees up and cut everything before that frame. And just for now, move the second clip out of the way, but don't remove it because we're gonna need it soon. Now as an extra touch, we can add some TV static to our monitor, which is an overlay effect that I found on Storyblocks. Thanks to them for also sponsoring this video. Now simply download and drag it into your project. Match it to your monitor by cropping or masking and set the blending mode to screen. And you might wanna decrease the opacity as well. There you go. Now in their ever growing community driven library, you can find more than a million royalty free stock assets, all in high quality. I can always find something when I'm browsing on Storyblocks, whether it's for commercial use or for me personally. You can look for tons of visual effects, animated backgrounds, green screen clips, motion graphics, and so much more, all in HD or 4K resolution. They also have various Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, which can save you a ton of time. You can browse through awesome music and epic sound effects. There's even an entire images, photos, and vectors library, which really helps me to step up my creative work. I'm convinced that every creator can boost up their creative work with the Storyblocks Unlimited All Access Plan. You can download an unlimited amount of video assets or you can check out the other affordable plans because there is one for everyone's need. But to learn more about Storyblocks, simply click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. And now, back to your Premiere. Let's do some masking. Head over to the first clip and find the exact frame where his back foot leaves the ground and set a cut because that's where we're gonna leave the monitor, of course. Now we have this tiny cute clip that is just a few frames long. Now we need this to mask out Timon so that we can animate him right into the second clip. And before you do that, move it up and place the empty frame underneath it because otherwise Timon doesn't have a background when I'm masking him out. Now to make the background fit inside of the monitor, we don't have to re scale and crop the clip. Simply copy the first clip and then right click on the empty frame. Click on paste attributes. Check the crop effect and click OK. There you go. OK, go to the first frame of your shot and go to opacity. Then click the pen tool and start masking out the talent. Enable the mask path stopwatch because we need to animate the mask. It's really important to do this frame by frame because that way your mask will be the most effective. You know what? Let's play a nice tune because this masking process can take a while. Okay. Finally done masking. Now take your second shot and decrease the opacity so that we can see both videos. Then move that clip above your first video so that both Timons match. Next, we have to match the scale and the opacity of the shots. Navigate to the first frame and enable the position, scale, and rotation stopwatch. Go to the last frame and change the position so that both Timons match perfectly. Good job, guys. Now, if we change the opacity back to 100%, you can see that our monitor disappears. To fix that, create another mask with the pen tool and draw a path around the talent. There we go. Both Timon and the monitor are now in the frame, but we still have a small issue that we need to fix. Because our talent is moving and our mask is not, we're accidentally cutting away his hand. Let's fix that by again animating our mask around his hand to separate it from the table. It's that simple. And now you can set the opacity back to 100. That looks beautiful. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> 
Now, to polish up our video, we're going to look for places where we can mask out more unwanted backgrounds. For instance, in this clip, we can still see the greens of the hedge from outside. Ew. Head over to the effects library and search for alpha adjust. We need this effect so that we can create multiple masks on the same shot. Click on the pen tool and create the mask around the unwanted backgrounds. And to make your mask visible, enable invert alpha. Then continue animating the mask just like we did before. There is still one thing left to do though. Once the unwanted background is gone, we need to set the mask capacity to zero. And that's it. And now make sure to turn off your monitor, guys, when you're leaving the room, because who knows, I might crawl through it and hide in your closet. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this effect and this tutorial. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, because that way you're helping out the video in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, Stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left. That one is pretty cool as well. And over there is the subscribe button because I know that you like my beautiful face and you want to see it every single week. So go click that. All right, goodbye and take care.